welcome to Storytime Online with the Pflugerville Public Library. Today we are going to learn all about squirrels and hear some really fun stories. All right, but before we get started, let's sing our good morning song. Remember, we use some sign language with this song. We use more, together, happy, friends. All right, let's begin. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Oh, the more we get together, together, together. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Cause your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. Oh, the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Yay! All right, our first story today is called Cyril and Pat. And it's written by Emily Gravett. And we're reading it today with the kind permission of Simon and Schuster. Lake Park only had one squirrel, all alone and sad. Poor Cyril. Until the morning he met Pat, his new best friend, a big gray squirrel just like me. Pat and Cyril spent each day thinking of good games to play. They like to put on puppet shows and test how fast a skateboard goes. Their favorite games were hide and seek, and one they called Pigeon Sneak. Boo! Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is not like you? Your friends are... Real Joker! At lunchtime, when the ducks were fed, Pat jumped in and took some bread. Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is not like you? Your friend's a brilliant sharer. And when they both got chased by Slim, together they outwitted him. Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is not like you? Your friends, a clever squirrel and you can't catch us, shouted Cyril. Pat tried to learn to earn a treat like Cyril could by looking sweet, but no one threw a treat for Pat. Ugh, mom, I saw a great big rat. <gasps> rat? Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is nothing but a dirty rat? Oh, Cyril, can't you see that your friend Pat is nothing but a thieving rat? Oh, Cyril, can't you see it? Facts are facts. Squirrels can't be friends with rats. Cyril, now back on his own, tried to play their games alone. But when he tried to outrun Slim, things didn't go so well for him. Cyril ran out of the park, past the pond, down the slide, no time for him to try and hide, into the city. Into the dark. All alone and scared. Poor Cyril. Not quite alone, you stupid squirrel, and not so brave without that rat. Ahem. Do you mean me, said Pat? Lake Park still only has one squirrel, but he is not alone. Now, Cyril lives there with a large gray rat. He's brave and clever, best friend, Pat. The end. 
I love this story because it shows that your friends can be different from you and you can still be wonderful best friends. Yay, Cyril and Pat! All right, friends, can you join me for a song now? This is an old family favorite and I'll sing it twice so that you can join in on the second time if you don't know it. We're gonna pretend to be squirrels, okay? Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Put a nut between your toes, wrinkle up your funny nose. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Ready to try it? Let's try it. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Put a nut between your toes, wrinkle up your funny nose. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, swish your bushy tail. Yay! All right, friends, we have a flannel play today with some squirrels. How many squirrels do you see? One, two, three, four, five. That's right, five squirrels. Five little squirrels are sitting in a tree. The first squirrel said, these nuts are for me. The second squirrel said, I like to eat. The third squirrel said, nuts are a treat. The fourth squirrel said, do you want some? The fifth squirrel said, you may have one. Yay, squirrels are sharing. Let's count them one more time before they say goodbye. One, two, three, four, five. Five squirrels. All right, friends, our last story today is called This is a Taco by Andrew Kangales and illustrated by Josh Shipley. And we're reading this with kind permission from Simon and Schuster today. This is a squirrel. Hi, my name is Taco, because my favorite food is tacos. I'm really excited to be in this book. Can't wait to help you learn all about squirrels like me. Squirrels are some of the cleanest rodents in the wild. They are known for having silky, soft fur. Gotta give some credit to my prairie dog pal, Garbage. He's my stylist. Hi, my name is Garbage, cause my favorite food is, save it for a prairie dog book. This book's about squirrels. Squirrels love to eat nuts, acorns, and even tree bark. Tree bark? I was told there'd be tacos. It's kind of the main reason I agreed to be in this book. Squirrels can pack large amounts of food into their cheeks to transport back to their nests. These aren't tacos either. Squirrels can rotate their ankles completely backward. This allows them to climb in any direction. Ah! Squirrels are great tree climbers and love to jump from branch to branch. I'm scared of heights, I live in a bush. Some squirrels called flying squirrels can glide through the air for distances of over 150 feet. You've got the wrong squirrel. My cousin Barry is the flyer in the family. Ah! Then they glide gently to the ground for a graceful landing. Wham! The hawk is the natural predator of squirrels, swooping down from the air to swipe them right off the ground. Uh-oh. Whoa, time out. This book needs fewer hawks and way more tacos. And when I say fewer hawks, I mean zero. crossing out the word hawk. Boom! That was awesome! I wonder. 
the taco is the natural predator of tacos, swooping down from the air to swipe them right off the ground. Now that's more like it. Taco hungry for tacos, swoop time. Who invited this guy? Hey, salsa breath, you're in the wrong book. A giant taco, sheesh. He's lucky I have a rule about eating things with faces. Taco the squirrel, and not an actual giant talking taco, is the natural predator of tacos. Now that's what I'm talking about. Squirrels are great eaters and can eat their body weight in tacos in just a day. Kids, remember, if you want tacos in your story, then you make sure there are tacos in your story. <laughs> the end. All right, friends, if you signed up for our story time crafts this month, then today's the day you can pull out your squirrel craft. And unfortunately, this squirrel is eating an acorn, not a taco. Thank you so much for joining me. It's time to say goodbye. But after today's story time, maybe you can go outside and look for some squirrels. All right. Goodbye, goodbye. We'll see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Goodbye, goodbye. We'll see you soon on another day. Goodbye.